Hey, Steam. All right, uh, we're doing this a little bit different today. Um, <laughs> I kind of uh, soft bricked my phone um, at work trying to just because I could. Uh, and I haven't unblocked it yet, but I'm, I'm working on that. So we're just going to do this off the laptop while I do work. Um, and hopefully my boss doesn't catch me. Uh, he's not here. It's a Sunday. He gives a shit. All right, today we're talking about uh, nesting how it, and how it's bad for you. Um, following those you want to be like. Um, you know, going to steam whales, you know, all that other fun stuff. Uh, the Warren Buffett book challenge, books you should read, Warren Buffett believes in. Um, then we're going to go talk about the Adam ruins everything, the Facebook clip, um, and then we're going to do like a 30 day challenge for those of you who want to actually kind of look into that stuff. All right. Nesting for those of you who watch Supernatural or um, actually have read a book or understand what it is. Nesting is basically when you just displace or remove anything that is not like you. Uh, you know, you, vampires hang out with vampires, werewolves hang out with werewolves, those two shall not mix, and then we get the Underworld fucking series because they do, and everybody hates everybody. Um, but the idea for that is, is in like the cryptocurrency world and in, in life general, really, you know, when you're on Facebook and you're on other place, uh, platforms of social media and you run into people that just, they don't think like you. Um, and a lot of people, they, you know, instantaneously, you know, the, the fuck you's, the you're a this and, you know, baby killers and blah, 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 blah. Every, every other vile version of, you know, get fucked that you could possibly come up with. And you just remove those people. They could be friends that you've known for years that, you know, didn't have the same mental growth that you believe you did. And they might think the other same way. Uh, it, it could be somebody you just met. It could be somebody, you know, you, you never met. Um, and the reason nesting, I, I, I feel, is bad for you is because you're not challenging your own thought process. You're not coming up with ways to defend your arguments or change your arguments or grow with your arguments of the things that you believe in. Uh, climate change is a huge one, especially living in the South. I fucking have to fight with people about that all the time. And it's just, you know, it's it's without, you know, you have, I had one guy recently who was just like, oh, you can't do, you know, the scientific method because you can't do that on a global form. And at the time I was like, well, you know, how the hell are you going to do a scientific method with having a, you know, a control of a planet? We don't have a control of a planet where we d didn't exist. Um, later, I realized that we have multiple Earth-like planets elsewhere that don't have humans that don't really have the same thing. But it's not a very—it's not the same control. It's, it doesn't count as a control because it's not the same environment. Uh, but by arguing with that person or debating with that person, um, it later dissolved into an argument because I can only go so long without saying stuff myself. Uh, it forced me to go in and, and search scientific platforms. It made me go get the NASA, you know, uh, poll that they did with scientists because everybody's like, oh, no, it wasn't 97% of the scientists. And it's like, well, fucking NASA did it. And here's the, the paperwork. Uh, then, you you know, you have uh, congressmen that, you know, are, are current EPA dumb shit who is running. Oh, no, those are, no, it's still there. You don't get to just pretend it doesn't be there. But. You know, don't remove those arguments from your life is what I'm saying. Don't remove that information. Don't remove, you know, bad stock advice from your life. Don't follow it, but don't don't remove it because th that's only going to force you to grow and get better um, in, in your market choices. It's going to grow and force you to go get more information. Um, it's going to – it's so – and when you're with people that are constantly thinking the same way you are, you're never going to grow. You eventually become stagnant. You know, that's why people who never leave their hometowns, have never traveled the world or at least gotten out of the fucking city or the town or the, the state that they're in, never inter intervened into somebody else's life and done all of this stuff, you you become stagnant because you're not growing because everybody else thinks you're fine. You know, it's you're, oh, and you know, he's just okay. It's, and that's... Again, that's, that's just kind of a folly that we all get into. Uh, so kind of a rant there. All right, following those um, you want to be like uh, is, is a pretty common advice given in, you know, multi-level marketing. It's given in standardized uh, platforms and everything else. And it's, you know, you see somebody else who has succeeded in the way that you want to succeed. 
Um, and in succeeding in the way that you want to succeed, the best way is to kind of see how they did it and following them and doing that stuff. And so this is something that like for new Steam people and just people in general, you follow the people that you, to do that, you, you know, uh, steamwhales.com, just go to, you know, filter it by rep, take the first 300 people, follow them. Then as you go through what they're writing, how they're writing, their, their contextuals, um, are they more, you know, factual based writing? Are they most more emotional based writing? Do they use pose like I do? I use, use a lot of pose. Do they, you know, do you like them because they swear a lot? Uh, you know, because they talk like you and stuff like that. And then you filter out the ones that you realize that they're not. They got there, yes, but they didn't get there in the ways that you are comfortable with or they, that you can match. Um, but still still watch them and still follow them because there might be something in their writing that you like and that you can um, bring into your own writing or their, your own post or your own blogs. Uh, for me, it was like a lot of this. I mean, I'm busy. I got two jobs, three jobs technically. And so these video blogs are a lot faster for me to do and, you know, give good – hopefully good content versus writing all the time. Um, and I do, I still do plan on writing. I still got the graffiti, you know, I did the graffiti blog earlier today, um, which was not really writing, which was cheating, but still, it, you know, it, it was something that I wanted to do. And so, because I saw other people that were succeeding in that way of doing it, uh, allowed me to adapt. So that's what, you know, that's, that's the advice. That's the, uh, the, looking i guess you know like i said in my other vlogs i i would be bringing in some of the mlm stuff that was actually useful um and not charging you nine or ten dollars to hear the same shit i've i've heard over the years uh warren buffett's the books you should read now this there's a bunch of different versions to this um you know there's like the warren buffett book challenge and then there's like business insider did this and news blah 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 did all that i mean you can go look them up um but there are pretty much standard, like the first five books are pretty standard of the ones that he read, read back in the 1920s, 1930s and stuff like that, that made him rethink how he was doing stuff and it allowed him to ch alternate his information to, you know, become Warren Buffett. You know, he took multiple levels of information and multiple backgrounds of learning and applied it to himself. And that is just like a, with, you know, going the scheme of Wells and applying that stuff to yourself and then arguing with people that don't have the same outlook with you well you can apply it to yourself because you never know like that person could be right like you might just assume they're fucking wrong because you don't agree with them but their information is correct their way of finding that information is way more beneficial than just saying no fuck that person you know like they could show you a new way to up, you know, upgrade your Google Foo, or they might bring a way to, you know, to another forum or another, uh, you know, website that allows you to gain information um, for your own personal success. So, if you ever, if you get a chance, if you got nothing better to do over the summer or the winter or whatever, uh, I do suggest picking up, you know, finding the list, picking up one or two of the books, just going through them. Audiobooks are great too. Um, and seeing where that can imply, you can imply that form of trading and, and economic changes and mindset changes uh, to yourself. I'm not personally a big, you know, self-help book fan. Like, most of that shit's the same stuff over and over again. And, you know, your own personal beliefs and blah, blah, blah. Just be an asshole. Do what you gotta do to fucking win. I mean, don't kill anybody, but it's all pretty much the same thing. The power to change is within you. Yeah, no shit. Like, no one else is walking over and being like, boop, changed into a horse. Ugh, sorry, I fucking hate those books. Um, all right, Adam ruins everything. The reason I'm bringing this up as, uh, you know, the if you haven't watched the show or the, the TV views, it's, you know, funny, it's entertaining, whatever. Uh, the reason I'm talking about it is the uh, Facebook internet one where it talks about, you know, like, basically your whole life has been sold for $12. Um and the reason I'm bringing it up is because on Steam, it's you're not really seeing advertisement. Like you are being paid your twelve dollars back, uh, you know, as far as that goes, because you are building the blockchain as you go and you post and you curate and do all the other stuff. Uh, so it is good 
interesting way to like if you go back and look at the clip which i'm going to have down below as a link um and and watch it and realize you know the kind of changes that you are capable of uh creating in on steam and i know a lot of people have been you know talking about like an affiliate program or a, a, a deal program or anything else that might bring in more money uh for people because it's faster or because other companies have done it and stuff like that and that allow you you know maybe it just brings up a, a conversational piece you look you read that you watch that you look at that and go nah, maybe i'm not down for an affiliation program or maybe you are maybe you you look at it and go you know yeah cool you can get my i love porn affiliation going or whatever so there there is that and i'm gonna end because i try to keep these under 15 minutes as if i can uh the 30 day challenge uh breaking your world up in the 30 minute intervals uh, is a great way to retrain your brain in ways that affect you in a positive manner so what i'm saying by that is like if you feel like your time management has gone to shit because you work swing shifts you work graveyard you're only working two days here, three days there. Your, you know, your days off are broken up in like one and ones across the, you know, across the week from each other, stuff like that. So you find it difficult to manage your time a little better. Uh, well, that is, I mean, in a way, it is kind of bullshit, but it's understanding. Like our world is so fast paced right now. We're hitting, you know, you got to get home, you got to do the dishes, cook, you got kids, you know, you got a significant other, you got dogs. Your mom might be sick, your dad might be sick, so you can't really, you know, you feel like you can't find the time, but that's because we've been taught, you know, at least with with school and, and work and stuff like that, that you have to do everything in these, like, blocks, like these eight-hour blocks. Like You have this much time to get shit done, and that's true, but if you think about it in a way that it's a manageable block, like, you re- evaluate your manageable block. The reason I say 30 minutes is because it it's quicker, and it allows you to kind of just go, okay, I can do dishes for 30 minutes, and then I can go read for 30 minutes, and then I can go do this for 30 minutes. Um, so the challenge really is do that for 30 for 30 days, break up your personal time into 30 minute intervals. Uh, you know, find spend 30 minutes one day just on one block. Don't write, you know, three or four blocks. Just spend 30 minutes, write it, come back to it. Go over it again. Was there information you missed, information you wanted to add, stuff like that. Um, curate, you know, re uh, reply to 30, I don't want to say 30 people because it's insane, but like try to reply. Uh, spend 30 minutes in the news section, the, your feed, the trending, and just pick something, write, reply, get, get that going. Obviously, if you're reading the Warren Buffett challenge, you know, read for 30, day, 30 minutes of the day, come back to it, so forth and so on. All right, I'm going to take off, unload this. Um, if you guys have any comments, you guys don't agree with anything, you do agree with anything, reply. If you think other people might be able to find this information useful, restream, um, vote at your own discretion, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.